Hey guys, my name's Caden Hunsaker. I'm the repair tech down here at Booth Music. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about something that's you know pretty common repair that we see in here a lot of the time. Uh, and it's something that's just pretty easily you know maintenance related. Um, and that would be just keeping an eye on the humidity where you're, wherever you're storing your guitar. Um, out here where we are, guitars tend to get far too dry. You know, most manufacturers recommend that, that the uh, instrument be kept between 45 and 55 percent humidity. And for a lot of people, it's just really hard to achieve that without doing any kind of extra work. I just wanted to highlight a couple of the symptoms of a dry guitar, because that is something that I have to work on so often. Um, as the guitar tends to dry out, you'll see the wood shrinks. Uh, as the moisture leaves the wood, all those pores kind of close up, and everything you know, shrinks up as a result. The first thing people tend to notice is uh, the fret ends will start to stick out past the edges of the fretboard. Um, it's a really common fix. We see it all the time. Um, just what happens is, like I said, that, that fretboard dries up and it shrinks. The metal doesn't shrink, so it sticks out the edges. That can be really uncomfortable on your hands, you know, even to where we see it kind of cutting people's fingers up a little bit. Um, and that's kind of, you know, more basic. That's one of the first things you start to notice as a guitar dries out. Um, more severe things, if the problem's left kind of unchecked, you'll see like on an acoustic guitar, the top will start to shrink up, and as it does that, it, it sinks down below this top line of the instrument. Um, that brings the strings down too close to the fretboard to where it's not even playable anymore in some cases. We'll see this line right here, where this, this center line, where the two sides of the top kind of meet in the middle, we'll see that just separate. You'll see a crack that runs from the bridge all the way down here to the end by the strap button. Um, like I said, all of that is stuff that we have to deal with all the time. Um, but, you know, it's, it's avoidable. It's, there's a really easy way to take care of, you know, not have to deal with any of those problems. And that would be just having a humidifier, basic one like this, and keeping your instrument kind of maintained, just keeping an eye on it. Um, with this one here, this is the most common type. This is what we recommend to people when they buy a new guitar from us. Um, top just comes off, and this little sponge comes out of this housing. Just run that underneath the faucet. That gets some moisture into it. Put it back together. And then when you're not playing the instrument, this just goes down in between the strings, down into the body like that. This works best inside of a hard shell case, uh, or even a gig bag would work fine. Um, just that way you don't have the moisture coming back out and just leaking out into the air in the room. Same thing goes, I mean, we're talking about guitars, but the same thing goes for smaller instruments, uh, mandolins, ukuleles. We have the same deal, just scaled down for those. Um, if you don't have a case for the instrument, or if you have it, uh, like maybe sitting out on a stand or something. We do have this type as well. Um, same kind of concept. There's just a sponge in here that you know faces down into the body of the instrument. Uh, but it also seals off this sound hole, kind of corks it, keeps all the moisture contained. Um, and that's great. Like I said, if it's on a stand or maybe you have the guitar hanging on a wall. The other thing is, you know, for people that are traveling, this would be kind of at the higher end of your humidity control. Um, this is great for if you're going in and out of dry zones or maybe you're you know, traveling out towards the coast, somewhere where there's a lot more humidity. This will actually keep you in that sweet spot, in that 45 to 55 percent humidity range. Um, if you're out here in the desert where it's drier, this is going to put moisture into the instrument. And if you go out somewhere where there is more humidity, this will actually start to absorb some of the moisture, so you don't end up with a wet guitar, which can also have its own set of issues. And then I do also want to mention, um, most of these problems are related specifically to the acoustic guitar. Um, however, electrics do suffer from a couple of the same issues. Primarily, the fret ends, like I had mentioned earlier. Um, that's really common to see on just about any electric guitar. With solid body guitars, it's less common to see any type of issue you know, with the wood of the body, unless it's really, really severe, but it's, it's very rare. With a hollow body, something like this Gretsch here, um, it does make sense to have a smaller humidifier, even like the ukulele type. Fits down in these holes pretty well and just keeps everything from kind of moving around. When you have these thinner pieces of wood like this, it's really easy for them to kind of dry out and then they, you know, they contract, they just move around. It can cause avoidable problems. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, these are just a few tips to kind of keep your guitar happy, healthy, and safe, and you know, sounding good for years to come. Uh, my name is Caden Hunsaker. I'll see you next time.